Android 4.3 was recently announced and is starting to roll out to supported devices over the air. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now, and this is how you can install Android 4.3 on your Nexus 7 or other Nexus device right now. So if you want Android 4.3 on your Nexus 7 or other Nexus device, you can go into settings all the way down here to about tablet and then to system updates. You can see here that my system is up to date. Well, no, it's not. So we'll check it now. We'll see if there's an over the air update available for me and it says as of right now, there is not. But if we come back and look, I'm still running Android version 4.2.2 and we all know there's Android 4.3 available. So what do we do? Well, we come in here and we tap on, I believe it's build number several times until you enable developer mode. I've already done that. So it says there's no need to do that. We'll go back now and you can see here in my settings that I have developer options. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. Once we're in here, we're going to find USB debugging. We'll check that. We will say, okay, it is for development purposes. We know that we don't need to do anything else. And up in the top, we see that there is uh, now a little debugging icon to remind us that we are in USB debugging mode. Now you do want to make sure that your USB cable is firmly secured because we're going to be doing a lot of work to this. Actually, we're not going to be doing a lot, but the software that we're going to be using is. So let's go back home. We can now do whatever we need to. We're going to shift gears over to our computer and run some stuff. If you don't already have the USB drivers installed, you'll need to download those. I got mine from the ASUS website and I'll have a link to that down in the description. So I've gone ahead and pointed to it. Now I'm going to install this software. We'll install it. It's installing the driver software, which takes just a couple minutes. Once that's done, this little exclamation mark next to the Nexus 7 should go away. Now switching over here to our command prompt, I'm in this Android folder and in this Android folder, if you take a look, I've got ADB, I've got some DLLs, I've got fast boot, and that's where I put my drivers. So we're going to switch over to a command prompt with administrative access. And from here, I'm going to run ADB. Let's see if I can get that better on the screen for you. I'm going to run ADB space devices to make sure my uh, Nexus 7 is being properly seen by ADB. And the way you can tell is you can see up here, I didn't have the drivers installed. So it says list of devices attached and there was nothing. Ran it again now that I've installed my driver and there is a serial number. Next up, we need to reboot into fast boot mode. You do that by turning the device all the way off, then rebooting with the power and the volume down buttons pressed simultaneously until you see this screen. You can tell it's in fast boot because right down here, it says fast boot mode. Once that is done, we're able to go ahead and run some fast boot commands. The first fast boot command we need to run is called fast boot OEM unlock. Hit enter on that. And what it's doing now is it's unlocking the bootloader. This is something that's required if you want to flash the factory images, but it's okay. You can fast boot OEM lock again afterwards. So depending on what version of Nexus you're using, you're going to need to download a different, uh, a different package. I am running a Nexus 7 that's the Wi-Fi version only, not the Wi-Fi plus 3G. And that is the Nakasi code name. I don't know what it means, but there you go. So I've downloaded that. It's about 305 meg to download and about 320 meg once it's extracted. Once I have it extracted, I just need to grab all of this and I'm going to copy and paste it over to the directory that I have my fast boot executable. And I'll just go ahead and paste those in there. You've got to do that because you've got to have fast boot and ADB in the same folder to make this all work. So once that's done, since I'm running Windows, I'm going to run this flash all. Now this is going to flash everything. It's going to flash the baseband. It's going to flash the, uh, the recovery, everything. So if you haven't backed up your device already, you're probably already too late, but now would be a good time to make sure that you've got everything you need backed up. So flash all will run that. It's erasing boot, erasing cache, erasing recovery, erasing system, erasing user data. You can see this is all going through relatively quickly. So I went through and I ran this again because I was running into a, a failed boot. One of the downsides to shooting videos, sometimes you don't read everything that you see on the screen. And I ran into a problem with a loose USB connection while I was uh, sending 
system and writing system over here. As you can tell, that should take about two minutes to do all together. And uh, I didn't wait that long and the USB cable got loose. So I went ahead and flashed it again, just reboot up into fast boot mode again. I ran flash all again. This time everything looks like it's coming across just fine and I'm booting up into Android 4.3. Now if you'll recall, first boots always take longer than other boots. So if you get stuck here at your Nexus loading screen, don't be terribly concerned. It's setting everything up for the first time and this is going to be completely fresh and stock just like you uh, had purchased it today. You'll notice we've got a little bit of a new screen here, at least new by my recollection. Go ahead and set up our Wi-Fi. Okay, once that's done, it wants us to uh, set up our Google account. We are going to uh, say yes to this right now, but we're going to try and skip this if we can. And it won't let us. So we'll just say no and not now. At this point, we want to go ahead and share our Google location stuff. That way we can have GPS and other type of information here. It's asking for our name, so I'll go ahead and put in my name really quick. That's one of the things that it would have probably pulled across if we'd have uh, signed in with our Google account. And setup is complete. Just like that, we've got Android 4.3 running on the Nexus 7. So let's take the quick walk through. We've got our Google Play library. Okay, great. We'll say okay. We need to log in to be able to see that, of course, along with these other widgets. But while we're here, notice we've got uh, pretty quick scrolling back and forth. Browser that it comes preloaded with is in fact Chrome. So let's fire that up. You can see here we're actually pretty snappy. Zooming works pretty well. Like I said, pretty well. Come back over here and see what we've got. Panning around also seems relatively fluid. A little bit nicer than what we had with the, the last version. But speaking of versions, let's go back and double check and take a look at what we've got. So over here in settings, we'll come down to the bottom. I no longer have developer mode because this is no longer uh, a modified, if you will, setup. So let's change that. While we're looking at it, here's Android 4.3. Our build number is JWR66V, so in fact we do have the latest version of Android on here. We'll tap this several times. We now have enabled developer mode, so let's go into our developer options. From here we could do USB debugging. We are going to go ahead and do that. A lot of you have said I don't want to be uh, OEM unlocked, so this is how you go about changing so that you're OEM locked again. So of course with all fastboot commands we need to reboot into fastboot mode by holding the power button and the volume down button. That'll boot you up into fastboot. From there we can run fastboot OEM lock. Press enter. It waits for just a minute while it's doing its thinking. On the device it says locking now. I don't want to, uh, to mess it. But info bootloader is now locked. And let's go ahead and reboot, and you can see that our unlock symbol is now gone away. So we'll go ahead and choose Start, and that will reboot it. No more unlock symbol down here at the bottom. So now this is as stock as you can get while still running Android 4.3. So those are the instructions on how you can get Android 4.3, the official ROM, direct from Google onto your Nexus 7 device. Now, if you've got something other than a Nexus 7, that's just fine. The instructions are exactly the same. All you've got to do is make sure you have the right USB drivers and the right software from the developers section. And again, those links are down in the description down below. Once you actually get into Android, there's not a lot of differences on the surface. We didn't do an awful lot of walkthrough to show you all the new and fancy things, because there really aren't any. It's a little bit early right now for us to tell you whether the battery life has improved as drastically on the Nexus 7 as it did with the leaked version that we showed you on the Nexus 4. We've got a link to the video of that at the end of this video. But stay tuned to Pocket Now and we'll let you know. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and why not share it with your friends on your favorite social media networks. We're at Pocket Now on Twitter, and I'm at Joe Levi. From all of us, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.